Chris with HobbyKing.com with another great product we're going to be talking about today. Today we actually got the TurnG1000 flight controller with GPS. Now this is an unbelievable value for what it does. Now we've got very expensive uh, uh, autopilot systems with OSDs and everything built in. We've got that. But what this is, is uh, really geared towards uh, the economy range. But in testing, I cannot believe what it's capable of doing for the price. Uh, it gives you return to home functionality. It gives you auto leveling ability for beginners uh, as well as for FPV depending on if you get disorientated. As well as for 3D flyers it gives you stability there a lot like uh, active gyros uh, that smooth out some of your moves. Enough talking about this. Let's take it out to the field and see how it performs. So what I did was crudely just installed it on top of one of our breezes so we could demo uh, what it's uh, capable of doing. Now inside this it has a barometer so it can maintain altitude, it has gyros accelerometers to maintain level as well as uh, compensate for any kind of a disturbance whether it be air uh, or whatever uh, and it also has GPS which uh, allows it to have return to home functionality. So the first thing you're going to want to do after of course initial setup make sure all the throws are going the right direction is uh, go ahead and arm and put the uh, battery in and put it in the position that you want to uh, have essentially return to home and let it sit for about five minutes so it can grab all the satellites it can. After that, it can do what's called a hot start, so it'll kind of remember that position. Once you uh, have the GPS on a while and it, and it grabs all the satellites, what you need to do is tell it where home position actually is. On, on multi-rotors, it's wherever you arm the copter, but since this doesn't really do that, uh, we don't arm it, it's a regular airplane, I, we've got to tell it. Now right on the top here, it has a set button. What you do is just take the included screwdriver, push it in, you hold it down until the light goes solid uh, for three seconds, and then it goes back out. That now is recorded as your home position. We put it right here in the middle of the uh, H on the helipad and uh, I'm gonna do something it's not really designed to do, but what I'm gonna do is make it do a return to home and I'm gonna cut power and see how, how close it can actually land back to the center spot all by itself. All right, let's take it up in the air. Okay, what I'm going to do is bring the aircraft across in front and I'm going to show you that it limits its uh, roll. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce power and I'm going to nose it over and you're going to see it basically lock at a 45 degree angle. And I'll release the stick, it auto levels the aircraft out. And you were saying you were banking, right? Yeah. Now I'm going to show you that it uh, works on the bank as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and bank the aircraft over and it's gonna maintain its altitude and it's limited to 45. So no matter what I do, it will not pass the 45 degrees. And we'll come overhead and go figure eight the other way. You notice it's maintaining altitude off the barometer. And that way, so basically you can fly this airplane by just pushing it around the sky where you need it to go in this particular mode. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw it in manual to show you how out of trim I actually have this aircraft set up on purpose so you can see how much it's uh, controlling the aircraft. I'm going to flip the switch. Let me bring it back around. All right, and now it's in manual and you can see it immediately tips off to the right and dives and turns. It's just a natural airplane. At this point, you need to fly it like you would any other airplane with coordinated rudder and aileron. Okay. All right, in this mode, it is a heading hold mode. So whatever attitude you put it in, it's gonna hold that. So if I put it at a slight nose up and let go, assuming it has the power, I'll give it full power, it's gonna try to maintain that. If I bank it over and release, it's going to try and maintain that. And I'll release. So pretty much anyone can fly this by just pointing the airplane where they want to go. Great for beginners, great for FPV. I just initiated a return to home function. So I'm holding the transmitter and you're going to notice the plane turn towards us. And it's flying over the, uh, the set position that I set as home. Now, once it approaches over the home position, which I said as the center of this helipad, it's gonna go ahead and start circling above head. So it's gonna make a turn here in a second. And there it initiated the turn, and now it's gonna start circling. So this is perfect if you lose video and you're FPVing and uh, you need to get it back to you or you lose orientation. 
just flip the switch and it flies home. Now it's gonna find the shortest course back to home, so it might do some uh, eight turns, some S turns, circles depending on breeze. We can see it coming around, but I'm not touching the transmitter. And it's just flying itself. It's maintaining altitude, attitude, and position. So right now the airplane has returned to home but I have no throttle in the airplane itself. So it's not designed to land itself, but based off of its ability to uh, correct itself from a stall, we're gonna see what happens on the airplane itself. I'm not holding the transmitter. And the center of the helipad is where I marked as home on the GPS. Hey guys, that's pretty darn close. Now, like I said, it wasn't designed to do that. As always, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will see you next time.